Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Mele Kaliki Maka, Bon Natale, Happy Kwanzaa, or Happy Hanukkah. Christmas is celebrated on December 25th. It is both a religious holiday and a cultural commercial celebration. It has been observed for more than 2,000 years. Based on several studies, between 90 to 95% of Americans celebrate Christmas. Of this number, approximately 50% celebrate it as a strictly religious holiday. Many more, though, recognize it, its religious origins, but celebrate in a more secular way. Given these extremely high numbers, if you greet someone this holiday season with Merry Christmas, it is probably going to be someone who celebrates the holiday in one way or another. In recent years, there has been a movement in business to shy away from the Merry Christmas greetings to a more inclusive season's greetings message. If the inclusive messaging of season's greetings is intended to bring the other five to 10% of Americans into the peaceful and joyous holiday season, I say it's a great message. If it's an attempt at political correctness, then I believe it's missing the mark. If 90 to 95% of the country celebrate Christmas in one way or another, then it's easy to see that the majority agree with the holiday. The holiday and whichever greeting you choose is based on your personal or cultural beliefs. To correct someone into saying just one or the other greeting is counterproductive to the message of the holiday. One of the first things my wife's grandmother said to me was, Hola, mucho gusto. This greeting translates from Spanish as, Hello, pleased to meet you. Her intent was to greet me and to express her happiness in meeting me for the first time. According to Alexa, there are approximately 39 million Americans that speak Spanish as their primary language, compared to nearly 270 million Americans that speak English as their primary language. My response to her was, thank you, nice to meet you too. I didn't even consider correcting her and saying, 80% of the United States speaks English, get it right. Her intent was to greet me and to welcome me in a way that was culturally and linguistically appropriate for her. I accepted her greeting and responded in a way that was culturally and linguistically appropriate for me. There was no shame correcting, guilting, or condemning from either of us. We simply enjoyed our first meeting and many family events over the years. I feel that this experience has taught me a lot about tolerance and inclusiveness and acceptance. I accepted and honored my grandmother-in-law's intent and she accepted mine. This experience taught me to be open to all types of holiday greetings. Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Mele Kaliki Maka, Bon Natale, Happy Kwanzaa, and Happy Hanukkah, and many more. I accept them all as a wish for a blessed holiday season in the spirit of the holiday they represent. I'm Russell with iHistorian. Have a historic day and a Merry Christmas.